If you're a Unity dev, you've seen the new asset store sale. A few of the assets that I featured last week are included in the sale right now, and CodeMonkey just did a great video where he highlighted about 30 of the best assets that are in there. So today, I wanted to do something a little bit different. Instead of showing you my favorite assets, I'm going to show you how I use the store in a practical sense with a real example. Before we get started though, if there is an asset that you think everyone should know about or you have a question about, drop a comment down below. Hello. Definitely helps with the algorithm and everything else, and if not, please just tap the like button. Now, before we get started, I have to confess that a lot of the time, I will start projects based on an asset. I kind of go into inspiration mode, I see something really cool and pretty, like these monsters and these robots that make me want to build a game where I can level up or evolve my characters like Pokemon. These ones are from Mesh Tent, and I just really like the way that they look. And the fact that there's a ridiculous variety of them if I decide to go with that art style for my game. Now, if you've ever just seen an asset like this and opened up a new project and started making something because of it, hit the thumbs up button. I just want to know that I'm not alone in this. I'm not the only one that gets kind of pulled off by these really cool looking things. But today I want to talk about how I do the more practical building and how I use the asset store in a more practical sense. So I'm going to skip past my inspiration for this project and talk about how I actually got started on it. Like most great ideas, I came up with this one in bed. While I was thinking about this space station that I had had built and what I wanted to do with it, I remembered some old economy based games where you do like exploring, building, and kind of expanding out your space station. And I thought, that could be kind of fun to build and recreate. I could make something really cool there, and with all of the cool stuff on the asset store, I won't need to have any more art made. I could just do it all with what I've got. So I started with a notebook writing down my design ideas. I knew I wanted a space station that was upgradable. I wanted chips coming in and out, buying and selling things, and a UI that represented that, and eventually some really cool graphics to go along with it. Now at this point, I could have spent the rest of the night just looking through the asset store, checking out pretty things and adding them to my cart, but I wanted to be productive and not just be shopping for fun. So instead, I opened up a brand new project and I began by importing the first asset that I almost always import now, which is Odin Inspector. And I won't try to sell you on this, I've talked about this one a million times before. I love it, it's my favorite, and again, it's the only one that I kind of auto-include because I know I'm going to use some of the attributes and features pretty much every time. After a couple hours of coding in bed, I had the core gameplay loop down, well, the very basic part of it, with the ships going in and out and me being able to upgrade. They would buy and sell fuel, and that was about all I needed. The code was a bit of a mess, but I felt like it was time for me to relax and start looking at assets. So before I went to bed, I dug around, added a bunch of things that I thought might be cool to my cart, and then in the morning, I did this. And now it almost looks like a game. I started by pulling in the space station that I had mentioned earlier that's not on the asset store yet, but if you think it should be, then drop a comment, let me know, and I might add it on to there. Once I had the station in, I wanted a ship, so I did what I always do, and I opened up my package manager and just started searching. I looked for space and for sci-fi to see what I could come across. The first thing that I found was a fuel spaceship that I already had, so I pulled it right into my project. This looked pretty cool, and it was nice for dropping off the fuel, but I really wanted some variety for picking them up. Since I knew the sale was going on, I did a little bit of searching, and I was really excited to see that the Ultimate Spaceship Creator Pack was on sale, because it's exactly what I needed. It had hundreds of different spaceship prefabs, lots of variety, and made it so that I could have ships of all different kinds of alien races for one really low price, and it just kind of worked. So I was really excited. This is a pack I've looked at before and thought, oh, I really need something to use that for, and now I had a use, and it's on sale, so perfect. Once I got the ships in and they were flying in and buying the fuel that I just purchased from the tanker, I decided it was time to fix up my UI because it was hard to tell what was going on with ugly default text and UI is an easy thing to fix and upgrade. I started with the shift UI pack because it's one of my default kind of go-tos for sci-fi UIs, but I realized that it didn't have a lot of the elements that I needed for this game. 
So I decided to search up the sale again and realize that the GUI Pro Kit Bundle 1 that's on sale actually includes a sci-fi UI. The sci-fi UI looked perfect for what I wanted to do. It pretty much fit the theme. It did have some things that I didn't want, but it had everything that I did want. It, well, everything except for one icon, but I saw that icon in the Fantasy RPG pack that was also included. So it was a perfect fit for me. I grabbed this, pulled it in alongside with the Shift UI, and that's what you see here. Now there's one big pack here that I haven't mentioned yet, and if you noticed it, call it out in the comments. I wanna see if anybody else can see what it is. What's the big blaring obvious one that I'm using that I haven't mentioned yet? It's actually one that I've used for a very long time and happens to be on sale. That's the All Sky Skybox set. It's 220, it says 220 plus skies. It's an insane number of skyboxes, including a lot of great space ones. The pack is huge. It's like six gigs of skyboxes that are all super HD. So expect to download a lot and expect it to take a while. And also don't import all of the skyboxes. Grab the ones that you want, not all of them. In this one, I just grabbed the space skyboxes. But it is an amazing pack, and I've used this thing probably 50 times, if not more, in different packs. Definitely worth the cost, especially on sale. Now, there is another asset that I used, and you might notice it here. Look up in the corner at the characters that are popping up as the spaceships enter. Each one of them shows a different character that's supposed to be the captain of that ship. And I wanted these to be somewhat unique, so I grabbed two different character packs. The first one was those mesh tint robots that I showed you earlier. It's just one of my favorite styles and I wanted to see how they would look in here. And then I also pulled in the Proto Factor Complete Sci-Fi Characters Pack. It's a giant pack that I've had for a while and it's full of all kinds of different alien creatures. Some look humanoid, some look like crazy monsters and I thought it would add a great variety. I added a simple camera with a render texture, popped it inside of my space station and suddenly I've got these nice cool interactive alive looking captains of the different ships. Now there is one more asset that I've pulled into the project that I haven't fully implemented yet, but I think that it's important enough to share and it was really kind of excited me when I saw this one. And that's the YouTube player and API. Now you might be thinking, oh, he just doesn't show his YouTube video in there. That's not the reason. The reason for it is that using something like this and make it extremely easy for me to put together help and tutorial videos that I can update just by updating a YouTube video. It was so simple to set up, I just dropped the object in and it worked and played the videos that I was blown away. I wish this existed and worked a long time ago when I really needed this feature for a bunch of other tutorials. So now I plan on putting this in here as something that can give some guidance to players, but I've also dropped one inside of the space station so that I can play some videos in the background as my characters walk by because hey, why not? Special thanks to Unity for sponsoring this video, and if you like any of these assets, please use the link down below to let Unity know.